Hey, uh, delivering more pumpkin seedlings today. I'm up to 12 different locations. It's a mixture of schools and retirement homes. So uh, better get going. I've got to get some more plants on the way. So we'll see how today goes. <laughs> So I've been to about 12 different locations today, dropped seedlings off, it was really good. A couple of really excited people, one of the retirement homes was over the moon, one of the schools was absolutely crazy, uh, some people didn't know what was going on, so you got to track down the person that said yes, uh, it's always fun. And I don't know how I feel about retirement homes, they've, I don't know, they depress me a little bit. Um, it's a bit sad seeing all those people. So I normally grow um, some giants, and well you know a, a one giant in the world's smallest giant pumpkin patch and then uh, also grow usually depends where I'm living um, a bunch of miniature pumpkins and this year I thought I'd grow a whole bunch I'm hoping to maybe potentially make something with them at the uh, as a creation but we'll see so today now start them off um, I got the little tiny greenhouse type Thing. 24 on the go at once, get them all going and then um, get them out on the ground. Super hot day today so I'm just filming inside so I don't get sunburnt um, because you know that's not fun for anybody. I have been checking out my irrigation setup. The pumpkin seedling isn't ready to go in the ground and you might be wondering why I need irrigation for the world's smallest giant pumpkin patch. Basically I go away in January, it's my birthday, I have a bit of a holiday and it's very hot. And the pumpkin, if you don't water it, um, suffers greatly. Earlier on in the year, I won this small irrigation kit from Sarah the Gardener. You should check her out, uh, put a link here. She's a really good blogger, she lives um, just south of Auckland. Check out what she's up to. Last year I used these droppers. Apparently they do up to 50 litres per hour, I guess if you take the whole thing apart. I think they got clogged up, so I wasn't too happy with those. But I found these other ones, um, which are probably more suited for a garden bed. These ones were pots. Um, they look like that. These ones do about four liters per hour. So I'm gonna see how they go. I'm gonna use a mixture of the old piping I had last year and the new piping there. And there's some risers in there with some full circle misters. Now I haven't used the misters before, and I think I will. What am I doing? I decided to put together the uh, little hoop house structure thanks to uh, the product uh, Tunnet from Polynet. If you ever need anything for your gardening, check them out. They're from Christchurch, they'll send all over the place. Here's some good roots on the plant. And the plant's a bit droopy, but I'm gonna try and get it out into the patch, get it covered, because it's very windy. So there's one hoop set up. I've decided to plant my seedling because it's just getting too freaking late. I should have been in the ground a long time ago. All uh, a bit dirty and uh, crappy looking. That's what happens when you leave it outside. How's things going for you? Um, if you're in New Zealand or Australia, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you.